All right, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the pocket. And I think we all have a picture in our mind of what the pocket is. We may even define it the same way. Uh, when, when we talk about that pocket, we, we say to our interior three guys, you're gonna be setting the depth of that pocket. And then tackles, you're gonna be responsible for the width of that pocket. And so we get that nice horseshoe. And of course, if we can create a nice pocket Okay, firm up inside with our inside three with some good width at the tackle spot. Our quarterback's going to have the opportunity, you know, whether it's five-step drop and then hitch, throw, he's going to be able to step up into that pocket. We're going to ask our tackles, you know, oftentimes block some really good pass rushers on the edge, both edges. And so we say, hey, make them go the long way. You guys got a big job. What we're looking for is three on two inside. And we'll oftentimes remind our guys, look, even if a team blitzes a lot, a lot, a lot, you know, say 40%, that's still more than half the time we're just getting a four-man rush. So we're looking for three on two inside, firm and square. In fact, we'd like to have our guards and centers stoning these D tackles uh, as a guideline at about three yards. That's the kind of depth we want to have uh, for our quarterback to step up and so to get that done, we're gonna talk about two different kinds of position, all right? And everything you're gonna hear me talk about today is gonna to be stuff that I've learned along the way. Um, it may have been from one of these great uh, cool clinics, all right? Or it may have been from one of the terrific coaches that I had the opportunity to play for. And I played for a lot of really good coaches in the NFL, um, as well as uh, Joe Moore uh, when I was in college. But when I played for Hudson Houck, he, he was the first guy that talked to me about uh, body position and relative position, right? As being two kinds of position that we're really gonna focus on. So let's talk body position now. All right, so wh whether I'm a tackle guard, we're looking at uh, Mitch Schwartz here, all right? And not necessarily the most gifted athlete, certainly, okay? And Coach Wiley knows this guy, uh, certainly a very good football player, okay? An all pro, uh, but not because of, uh, his great athletic ability because he's a true pro and he was very efficient, is very efficient, smart guy. All right, so when we talk about body position, we wanna have our weight distributed evenly and we wanna have a good base in the ground. So if, if you notice as Mitch travels here, he's gonna travel with all of his cleats in the ground. He's got all of his cleats in the ground. I don't really want our tackles kicking out uh, uh, on their toe. I think we're going to draw more energy uh, and, and leverage having our cleats in the ground. We also, you know, time with our feet in the air is going to be time loss. So we don't want to take big kicks, right? These things should be low to the ground. Anytime we take a kick step, then it should be followed by a balance step to maintain a good base, roughly shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. All right, we're looking at, you know, a decent body lean. I, I would say uh, whether it's a tackle center guard, knee over the toe, chest over the knee, slight arch in your back, okay, that's going to be pretty good body position. Notice his hand carriage, okay? His hands are going to be up and ready, kind of like a boxer, 